So there you have it. Now, when I pressed, I deliberately pressed a crease on the backs of these as I was pressing because now here's your centerpiece. Now you could, if you had some Christmas bows or bling or something, pop those on each of those petals. But we also have a small tree about this big that I use in the classroom. And if I was to turn this over, I could sit the Christmas tree in here and it would make a nice base. And also, you can, there's just so many things you can do with this. Now, I've got a candle here. It's a pretty old candle, but you can see how you could sit that there. Now, I wouldn't be very comfortable burning a candle with the fabric like that. So I have this one here, which is absolutely gorgeous. Oh, it smells divine. I got this last Christmas. And you can see the size of this. You could certainly have your candle in a glass. Now I also have this glass. And this is its pretty much about five inches in diameter. And I could also look at that. So you could fill that with whatever you wanted and I can pull it down like that and again if you wanted to you can put a candle in there or Christmas treats, lollies for the kids, whatever. So I hope you enjoy this, I hope you get time to make it for Christmas coming. Um, I'm sorry if you don't and you don't see this until after, but maybe you could get a head start for next Christmas. I look forward to seeing you soon in another video. That's it from me for this one. Bye now.